Welcome to Altium Designer Getting Started. This module called Transfer to PCB, we will transfer the design from the schematics onto the PCB. Opening up the PCB, we see it's represented as a black rectangle. While it's not needed, I prefer to set the origin of the board to the lower left corner. To do this, right click on the Edit pull down menu and then select Origin and Set. Now with the mouse, we can place the 0, 0 coordinates for the board. Let's zoom in a little bit. We'll place it on the bottom left corner by left mouse clicking on it. Note, we can zoom in or out of this view by holding down the control key and scrolling the mouse wheel. If the shift key is held down, when we scroll the mouse wheel, it moves left or right in our view. With no keys, the mouse wheel scrolls our view up and down. To view the layer stack up for the PCB, click on the design pull down menu and select layer stack manager. This opens the layer stack manager window. Here we see the various layers for a default two-layer PCB with silkscreen and overlays. If needed, we could add additional layers by clicking on the Add Layer pull-down menu and pick either Layer, as in a signal layer, or Power Plane. We won't add any layers as this design is easily laid out in the existing two layers. There are some additional preset layer stackups available from the Presets pull-down menu, as you can see here. Now we'll change the size of the board from the default dimensions. To make it easier to make the size of the board 3.5 by 2.5 inches, we will use the grid feature in the tool, and we will set it to 500 mil step sizes. In the Properties window, scroll down to find the Grid Manager section, and open it up if it's collapsed. Here we can set the grid on the PCB to a convenient number like 500 mil in this case. This will make sizing the PCB quicker, and more accurate due to the larger granularity of steps. To edit this, double click on the grid entry. We will enter 500 mils, and we will leave that chain that looks like a link set so that both X and Y steps are the same. Now click OK. At this point, the mouse would move in steps of 500 mils. To edit the board shape, we need to enter into board planning mode. This is done by hitting the number 1 key. With the PCB now green, indicated we are in the new mode of PCB planning, we can directly work on the PCB using the design pull-down menu. Select the Edit Board Shape option to allow us to pick on the vertices of the board and move them using the current step of 500 mils. We can adjust the height and the length of the board using the XY coordinates on the bottom left of our window as a guide. The coordinates reflect the current mouse position. We will set the board to desired 3.5 by 2.5 inch size and then deselect the board. To switch back to 2D or 3D, hit the number 2 or the number 3 key respectively. Now we're ready to transfer the design to the PCB. Switching to the schematics, click on the Design pull-down menu and select Update Expansion Board PCB. If the design was not compiled, the tool will recompile it this time to create the unified data model for the design. The unified data model, or UDM, provides the linking between the schematic and the PCB. Currently, the schematics have the entire design, while the PCB has nothing. This will cause an ECO to be generated representing the differences between the schematic and the PCB. Clicking on the Execute Changes applies the ECO to the PCB. Once the execute is finished, it's a good idea to click on the Show Errors box to ensure that there were no errors that we missed during the ECO process. At this point, we have a two-layer, 3.5 by 2.5 inch PC board with the design's components and all of the connectivity information. Note the parts are placed off of the PCB and are in two groups called Rooms. These rooms were auto-generated and are based on the schematics, one room per schematic sheet, which contains all of the parts for that sheet. We will use the rooms in a future module. This completes the transfer of the design to the PCB. In our next module, we will address the most important concept of rules and their role in Altium Designer.